<coughs> hello guys welcome back to this channel so hope everyone is fine so on that note let's start this video so this is week 7 assignment of the course and introduction to artificial intelligence guys for the past five years we have been giving solutions for various NPTEL courses so for this season also we are giving this so this is week 7 assignment so guys uh, all these solutions are completely my probable solutions so who are unable to do their assignments on their own so due to lack of time or due to various reasons so for those kind of students we are helping this through these mcqs so these are completely my probable solutions guys so if you suggest any changes in the solutions then we can uh, discuss and change the solution but i hope i tried my best to give you the most probable solutions so now let's see the first question so guys please watch the video till the end without skipping if you skip the video you may miss some changes if i make anything so do watch full video definitely subscribe our channel and do like the video so that it will be appear in suggestions for other students also and please share that video for your friends and classmates in your whatsapp student groups so that they will also get benefited like you so now let's see the first question which of the following is the component of knowledge representation language so for first question so all these solution uh, options are probably the correct solutions so mark one two three four so last all these four options are correct so for first question four options are the four probable solutions for first question now let's see the second one so second one choose the correct statements so for second question i have got only one probable solution guys that is fourth option a sentence s is valid if it is true in all the words next moving on to the third question choose the correct cnf form for the expression negation of q gives rise to r so intersection r gives rise to negation of p so for third question the probable answer is first option guys first option now moving on to the fourth question now so before getting into this fourth question i want to make a small announcement guys so for the course and introduction to artificial intelligence so we have prepared the exam preparation mcqs guys these are the previous year mcqs along with the partial solutions of the questions so previous year mcqs you will get here guys so there are a huge number of 120 mcqs so which are contained in a google drive pdf so for one person it is 250 rupees only guys and for two to five persons combinedly it is 500 guys so if your classmates are doing the same course along with you then you can form a group of two to five person and persons and you can take it for 500 rupees or if you are only one person no need to worry guys for one person it is just 250 rupees only guys so here you will get a huge number of 120 mcqs guys completely based on nptl's previous year mcqs so it will be helpful for you in the preparation for the final exam guys so with five years of nptl experience we have collected these solutions guys so this is the email id if you want to mail me uh, to get the mcqs guys so please mail me only if you want to purchase guys for any other doubts you can ask me in the youtube comment section itself no need to message me only if you want to purchase then only mail me guys so already many students have taken our packs guys so join along with them so that you can get time to prepare for other subjects at the end so prepare from now itself so that you can cover many week syllabus here so this is the mail id guys if you want to purchase the pack i will give the same email id in the description box as well as in the comment section so 120 mcqs for one person it is 250 rupees and for two to five person it is 500 rupees guys so now let's get back to the solutions so fourth question which of the following steps are used in the dpll algorithm so for fourth question there are two probable solutions guys the first one is first option itself if expression f contains unit or pure literals branch immediately on them so the first option and the other one is second option can apply mom's heuristic to select a variable for branching now moving on to the fifth question so fifth one what is the number of incorrect statements among the following 
So for fifth question, the answer is three guys. So there are three incomplete or uh, incorrect solutions. I think the first, second, and fifth one. So total three that I have got. So if you feel there should be any change in the solutions, any of these solutions that I give, you can please give your opinion in the comment section, guys. So we will try to discuss and sort it out. So before final submission, once again check the comment section if any update available because I will change. If any change is there, then I will update in the comment section only. So once again visit our channel page in the comment section, guys. So now let's move on to the sixth question. We are given the following set of clauses. So these are the set of clauses. So we repeatedly apply unit propagation and removal of pure lateral. Still, we can no long, no longer do so. So what is the number of remaining clauses? So for sixth question, I have got the answer as two guys. Now moving on to the seventh question. So given the following set of clauses. So, which of the following clauses can be derived by resolution using the given clauses? So, for seventh question, I think the probable answer is only first option, guys. Negation of A. So, this is the clause that can be derived from resolution using the given clauses. Now, moving on to the eighth question. Given the following Boolean expression, so they have given five Boolean expressions, guys. So, they are asking the question. Let's see. How many of the following can be inferred if we apply forward chaining based on the modus ponens rule? So for eighth question, the answer could be all these four options, guys. So I am giving answer as option min. Four guys. Now moving on to the ninth one. So before getting into this ninth question, I want to once again make you remember, guys. So we are providing previous year huge number of 120 MCQs guys. So you can prepare our 120 MCQs along with this year 120 MCQs. So total 240 MCQs you can prepare for your final exam guys. So the price will be for one person it is 250 rupees and for two to five persons combined it is 500 rupees guys. So you cannot get these MCQs outside guys only our channel is giving these previous year MCQs, collected of the previous year MCQs and giving the exact correct solutions along with partial solutions for many questions guys. So an introduction to artificial intelligence course, the exam preparation MCQs guys, these are previous year MCQs. So with five years of NPTEL experience, we have collected these MCQs guys. So completely based on 100% NPTEL syllabus and no extra syllabus included. So this is the email ID. If you want to purchase, then no, then only mail me to this email ID, guys. Already many students have taken our previous MCQs packs for various courses. So 120 MCQs for one person it is 250 rupees, and for two to five persons combined it is 500 rupees, guys. So that's it, guys. Now let's get back to the solutions. Ninth one: Which statements about the ontological and epistemological characters of first order logic (FOL) and probabilistic propositional logic or Bayesian networks BN are correct. So for ninth question, I have got two solutions guys, two probable solutions. The first one is second option and the other one is the fourth option guys. Now moving on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th one. Which of the following statements about the Waxat algorithm is or are correct? So for 10th question, once again, I have got two probable solutions. That is second one. Voxat can detect if the problem is unsatisfiable, and the other one is it is sound. That is fourth option. So friends, these are the probable solutions for week seven assignment of art an introduction to artificial intelligence course. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video, and definitely share that with your friends in your WhatsApp college student groups so that they will also get benefited like you. And definitely purchase this 120 MCQs package. The price is also very low. It is only 250 rupees which is very affordable for the students and two to five persons combinedly it is 500. So even the price will be reduced on individual basis if you take it as a group, right? So that's it guys. This is the email ID to purchase these MCQs pack. Only message me if you want to purchase guys. For any other doubts, no need to message me. You can ask me in the YouTube comment section itself guys. Only our channel is giving exclusively these previous year MCQs along with the solutions partially guys.
so no other channel is providing these mcqs guys so that's it guys for this video so hope so keep support us like this for more videos and pdf pack so that's it guys for this video so until the next video goodbye